big, big steps forward with the ADS project. The whole thing is run on Python, if you haven't seen before. So I have these LED systems that'll tell you the status of the machine. So if it's in red, that means the Python program is not connected yet. And then if it's in green, that means it's in search mode. If it's orange, that means it's in track mode. And if it's blinking green, that means that it's in standby mode. Here, we also have the camera module set up. I need to actually find a way to constrain that. But here we have the uh, antenna. Here's the actual board that controls the camera. And then here in the bottom, that is the camera itself. So the biggest update I have is the fact that I'm able to actually track a target now. So I'll go ahead and run the Python program. It's gonna reset this real quick. Yep, there it goes. And now it's gone into search mode. We can see the camera feed up there. You can actually see me in it. And then I can put a target in its way. And now it's gonna try and track the target. I need to actually recalibrate it so that it tracks better. But you can see it's like actually trying to make adjustments to track it. And you can see on the camera feed that it's actually trying to track the center of the object. Even within this tracking mode, I can just put the machine in standby by just telling it to stop. You can see in the command line, I have stop. Let's click enter. It says it sent the mode to be standby, stop activated, type reset to reinitiate search mode. And you see it went screen. And if I tell it now, hey, go ahead and reset and click enter, you see it resets itself and it goes back into search mode. Right now, the search mode has this issue where you see how slowly it's actually panning. It's panning so slowly and it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to pan in 30 degree increments. So it should pan actually pretty quickly. And it does it, but only after it does this slow pan to 180 degrees. Once it gets to 180 degrees, then it like goes fine. But for some reason, it starts off really slow and I have to debug why that is. But yeah, overall, great, great progress. Now I just need to debug that search panning issue. And I also need to integrate the LiDAR so that it can actually get kinematic data to be able to intercept the projectiles.